live report. My name is Dr. Ivor Lensworth Livingston, the narrator of this video and the author of a new book entitled, You Don't Have to Be Overstressed All the Time. However, before anything more is said about me or this book, it is necessary to say a few words that would provide a basic overview of stress. This information on stress, in turn, will underscore the need and timely importance of this recently published stress book. What is stress? Basically, stress occurs when there is a perceived discrepancy between the demands placed on us and the resources we have to meet these demands. Today, stress has reached epidemic proportions the world over. This fact is most evident in the fast-paced and time-oriented nature of all societies. Perhaps the most important evidence of the destructive nature of uncontrolled stress in our contemporary society can be seen in increases in the following areas. Road rage, work-related violence, suicides, drug addiction, low worker performance, and chronic diseases such as heart disease, cancer, stroke, and hypertension. As an author, seminar presenter, and consultant, I'm an internationally known stress management expert. I have also lectured and written on the relationship between stress and various health-related outcomes such as cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, violence, and HIV AIDS. Over the years, I have written several books and articles on these subjects. Currently, I'm the president of the Stress Health Institute International, under whose auspices you don't have to be overstressed all the time was written. This new, exciting, and easy-to-read book provides a basic step-by-step -step approach on how to manage stress both efficiently and effectively. Physically speaking, it is a 5 by 8 paperback with approximately 500 pages. It was published by Outskirts Press in 2007. You don't have to be overstressed all the time is a reservoir of basic or ABC information on stress and stress management. It was written mainly for persons who are at risk to be overstressed. Being unduly stressed can lead to poor health and low levels of productivity. Appealing features of this exciting and informative book include the following. A is an easy to read or ABC approach, which includes a variety of real life photographs and illustrations that complement adjacent texts. B presents a descriptive analogy between stressors and potentially ferocious tigers. C, a presentation format follows my simplified three-step IRM approach to stress management. And D, exercises that are conveniently placed throughout the book and in the appendix for readers to practice what they have read. The book has 18 chapters that are evenly divided between its three main sections. The format follows my simplified three-step IRM approach mentioned before. Basically, I equals Identify the nature, background, and cause of stress. R equals recognizing the signs and reactions to stress. And M equals managing stress using a combination of strategies. Various endorsements have been made for the book, including the following individuals. Horace G. McCormick, President and CEO, HGM Management and Technologies, Washington, D.C. Dr. J. Jax Carter, Physician and Medical Consultant, Boston, Massachusetts and Yusef Battle, CEO of The Fit Solution, Washington, D.C. Books can be purchased at various outlets on the Internet, such as Amazon.com, Powers.com, BarnesandNoble.com, BooksAmillion.com. They can also be purchased at bookstores, such as Howard University's Bookstore. Books can also be purchased or ordered directly from the Stress Health Institute's website, which is Stress healthsolutions.com. The book retails for $26.95 and discounts are available for large purchases. The telephone number at the Stress Health Institute is 301-570-6650. The fax is 301-570-6672. The email is stress0 at comcast.net. Thank you for viewing and listening to this introductory information on my recently published book, You Don't Have to Be Overstressed All the Time. 
Given the increasing levels of stress in our modern day society, this is a book that you simply cannot afford not to buy. More information on the book can be seen on my website. Again, stay well and happy reading.